Right now, there's a new way to grow on YouTube that so many creators aren't taking advantage of, but I'm gonna warn you, the window of opportunity that there is for this opportunity that I'm about to share with you in this video, it is not gonna last forever. So if you are serious about growing on YouTube, especially if you're a small channel on YouTube, I need you to listen up, I need you to pay attention, and please, I need you to implement everything that I share with you in this video because I promise you, if you implement every single step, especially the last step, which is by far the most important, you will get guaranteed growth on YouTube. During a time where it is incredibly pivotal that you have at least a thousand subscribers on YouTube because if you want to get monetized, whether through long form content, through live streams, or through shorts, you are going to need a thousand subscribers and it is easier than ever to get there right now if you simply implement the steps I'm about to share with you. In fact, they help this creator gain over 100,000 subscribers, this creator over 50,000, and this creator over 10,000 subscribers in a really short period of time and the same exact thing can happen to you. But before we dive into it, I need you to smash that subscribe button. If you want to go quicker on YouTube, TikTok, or Instagram, I literally upload a video about how to grow on these platforms every single day. First and foremost, I need you to be focused on shorts. Way too many small creators right now are not focused on shorts and literally the person that manages the algorithm at YouTube, well not manages the whole algorithm, but he is a license between normal creators and the YouTube algorithm. Guess what he's saying? He's been saying that the number one way for small creators on YouTube to grow is to focus on search first because essentially how the YouTube algorithm works, they're gonna look at watch history of your viewers and then what they're gonna do is recommend your content out if it fits into their watch history. But since since you might not have a lot of viewers right now, you definitely don't have a lot of subscribers, you need to be going after search because it's by far the easiest thing and it's the first thing that they're gonna be testing out your content in. But if you do the wrong thing with the subtitles you put in your videos, your titles, and another area that I am going to share with you later on in this video, you will never be able to rank for search. Right now, all you need to know, you need 20 to 30 search terms. I don't care what kind of content you create. I don't care if it's fitness. I don't care if it's comedy. I don't care if it's art. I don't care if it's crypto. If you create content on YouTube, you need to know what people are searching for in order to find that type of content. It could even be fishing content or camping content. It doesn't matter. So I need to make sure that you have at least 20 to 30 search terms, high volume search terms, and know what you're gonna do. You need to actually go through and do a search on YouTube for those things. And I want you to make note of two things. One, whether or not shorts show up, and two, what the titles of those videos are. And then what I want you to begin doing, I want you to begin putting out content. You're gonna see a bunch of long form videos under the searches that you do. You need to start creating shorts for that type of content. And you can create multiple shorts. For example, if you're in crypto and you're doing what is Bitcoin, you can create hundreds of shorts about what is Bitcoin, and there will always be an audience for that content. I'll give you a prime example from my own specific account. I upload a video almost every single month telling you about the TikTok algorithm, the YouTube algorithm, the Instagram algorithm, the best time to post on these platforms, the best hashtags to use on these platforms, and I can continue to do that every month. In your niche, there's going to be something similar to that, whether it's finance-based, whether it's crypto-based, it's fashion-based, there's going to be something similar where you can consistently be creating the same video, you know that YouTube is going to push it out, and ultimately, you're gonna be able to own those search results. Because when it comes to ranking on search on YouTube, they're looking at three things. One, they're looking at the metadata of your post, right? What you're actually saying in the post, what keywords you have on the screen in the post, what keywords show up in the title, what keywords show up in the description, what keywords show up in the tags. The second thing they're gonna be looking at is the click-through rate. Are people clicking on your videos more than the other videos that are showing up? And I need you to understand something. YouTube is a competition. If you create content in any niche, everybody else in your niche, they are your competition. Now I'm not saying you need to be cutthroat with them. You could have competition and be buddy-buddy with them and actually get more results and both of you guys will be able to grow. And I need you to understand that. You do not wanna kill your competitors on YouTube. You just wanna make better content than them. And you should be fine if you see a competitor that makes better content than you. You wanna know why? Because they're not stealing views from you. In fact, I've basically proven this with my own account. If you look at other YouTube channels that talk about how to grow on YouTube, all of us get around the same amount of views. You wanna know why? Because people like you, watchers of this type of content, the audience for this content, you guys watch all of us. You guys watch multiple channels. So do not think that somebody else because they're getting more views is stealing views away from you. That is not how this works. If you create valuable content, you create valuable content for your audience, you will get views despite whether or not your competitors get views. And when your competitors get views, it's actually good because it increases that watch history. Again, which is why you need to make sure that you are targeting search keywords because people are searching for those. There's a watch history for those. And this is the easiest way for your videos to start to get recommended, which by the way, is when you really start to go viral on YouTube. 
Okay, so after focusing on search, there is another thing that you need to focus on. You need to focus on being the hub for the content in whatever niche you're in. If you're in fashion, you need to be the hub for that. If you're in comedy, you need to be the hub for that. And the way that you become the hub within a certain niche is one, upload content within that niche. Two, react to other people's content within that niche. Let me give you a prime example. If you're in crypto right now, the thing that just happened with FTX, you might not be able to make a video on that and talk very clearly about it, but you could comment on all the news that are coming out or react to all the other videos that are coming out or react to people's tweets on the subject. And that is how you can actually insert yourself into that conversation and become the hub. Another example, I uploaded a video this week about the new monetization features on YouTube. And guess what? It was my most viewed video ever in a really short period of time. You wanna know why? Because all the other YouTube channels didn't get a chance to drop a video on it. In fact, they're probably gonna drop videos on it today, or maybe they did it yesterday because I'm recording this on Wednesday. But nevertheless, you need to be the person that is reacting first to all these things especially if you're a small channel, this is going to help you get more views. It's going to help you get more subscribers. It's going to help you be seen as a hub for content. And basically what it's going to do, it's going to build up that catalog of content that you have. If you're a small YouTube creator right now, I need you to understand something. The more videos you put out, the bigger the hub of your content, the more views you're going to get in the long term. YouTube is not like TikTok or Instagram where you upload something once and the post lives for maybe five days. It's not like that. YouTube, the posts live forever. In fact, there are videos from years ago that still get tens of thousands of views, hundreds of thousands of views every single day, and that is what your goal needs to be. All you need to be focused on with YouTube if you are a small creator is getting better every single month, getting better every single day, getting better every single week, and that's going to mean that you're gonna put out some bad videos sometimes. Don't get disgruntled when this happens. Don't get discouraged when this happens. All you have to do is get better, and the way that you're gonna get better is by doing the next two things that I share with you, which you can implement everything I've shared so far. If you skip these next two things, it's going to be the reason that you're not successful. But before we dive into those, we need to thank today's video sponsor, dailycontentideas.com. If you go to the link in the pinned comment below, you can find out what is trending in your niche, be it on YouTube, be it on Instagram, be it on TikTok. It's really simple. You sign up and it's essentially a personalized newsletter where you get sent what is trending within your niche every day, Monday to Friday. So if you're in the fashion niche, you'll get fashion trends for TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube, and it's incredibly simple. You can get started today for just a single dollar and then it's $10 a week, which by the way is incredibly cheap. What? you guys spend more money than that at Starbucks every single day. And this is actually an investment. It's going to help you make better content. It's going to help you stay on trend and it's going to help you get more inspiration. Again, go to the link in the pinned comment below to get started right now for just $1. So the two other things that I need you to focus on are your analytics. You need to be only looking at three analytics. That's it. Only three things. One, the number of returning viewers that you get. Two, the number of end screen clicks that you get. And three, your click through rate and your watch time. For shorts, you need your watch time as close to 100% as possible. For a click through rate, you should be aiming for 20 to 25%. The way that you make these two things better is by adding better titles, editing your videos better, and making sure that your thumbnail is of the best part of the video. If you're doing a video where an alligator reads something, it should be the alligator's mouth wide open, not just a picture of a swamp where you can't see anything. Whatever the main point of your video is, whatever the main thing is, that's what needs to be showing in your thumbnail. It should also be in your title because you're teasing the person, making them curious curious and that's what's going to increase your click through rate. Now when it comes to end screens and when it comes to returning viewers, what you need to do, you need to be looking at your analytics and you need to be linking out to videos that are similar to that video and it works even better if you add in a two to three second script at the end of the video. It says, hey, if you like this video, you need to watch this video. But then what works even better than that is if you create a new problem for the viewer. For example, if I was going to put an end screen at the end of this video, I would say something along the lines of, and this all works if you post at the right time on YouTube. If you wanna know what time to post, click this video right here. Now, obviously I'm not in the video right now and I'm not putting that as an end screen, but you get the gist of that. I know what the audience wants. I tease it by telling them that they need to do one more thing if they click on that video and that is how you get a really high end screen percentage, which basically, if you get 100,000 views, and 20% of people click the end screen, guess what? You're gonna get an extra 20,000 views. Now you have 120,000 views, which is a 20% increase, and what YouTube's gonna say is, wow, this person's getting a lot more views. We should push out their content even more, and ultimately, you end up getting even more views, you end up getting even more impressions, and your content begins to rank higher because YouTube then just sees that when they push out your content, not only are you getting one view, but you're getting two views on your channel, or maybe three views, you're keeping people on YouTube, you're keeping people seeing ads, you're making YouTube more money. So of course, they're going to push out your content more often. Now, if you're still struggling to grow on YouTube and you want to get guaranteed growth right now on YouTube, well then you need to keep watching this video because I've got something special for you. 
Finally, I just launched my YouTube Shorts Mentorship Program, which guarantees that I can help you grow on YouTube in just 30 days. If you wanna find out more, go to the link in the description, but to put it simply, you're gonna go through six steps to becoming a YouTube Shorts expert. Then I'm gonna make you a personalized plan. I'm gonna tell you exactly what to post, what titles to use, what thumbnails to use, what descriptions to use, what tags to use, what your content should actually look like, how your editing should be, and so much more. And then for the next 30 days, I'm gonna critique your content to guarantee that you grow. It's incredibly simple. If you don't grow on YouTube in the 30 days, I'm gonna give you your money back, zero questions. This is not just a course. This is not just information. It's me actually telling you exactly what to do, critiquing you, consulting, me coaching you on how to be a full-time YouTuber, how to grow on YouTube, how to reach your goals on YouTube. And again, if you don't grow on YouTube in the 30 days, you get your money back, zero questions asked. There's absolutely no risk for signing up. The only risk is not taking advantage of this situation right now with YouTube shorts and growing on YouTube. So please do not be somebody that does that. That being said, if you're not interested, just watch the next two videos I'm gonna put up on the screen because they're the videos that YouTube thinks you should watch next. Thank you so much for watching.